you should have a list of all of the most common prepositions that begin with A and B. We're going alphabetically, but the next several we need to use um, more letters of the alphabet. So we need concerning, down, during, except, so except means this is true for everything, but we need to leave out this. This doesn't fit. I like everything chocolate except chocolate covered crickets. Yeah, that would be a good way to use except. <laughs> for, from, in, into, like, and near. Be sure that you are staying fresh on all the ones we have learned. That way you are able to add a few more each day. Your assignment looks like this. Again, we will do all the way down to where it says stop one for today. Two questions that prepositions and the words that go with them can answer in sentences. Don't forget to fill in these blanks. This is part of your score today. No, an X does not fill in the blank. Today, we are working with concerning down during. A reminder, prepositions make great transitions. That means they go at the beginning of a sentence to hook it to what came before. And to be sure, the main idea of the sentence continues on from what came before. You just need to remember to put commas between the words that go with the preposition. That's called the prepositional phrase and the real sentence. I've given you some reminders on these. Hopefully you don't need these reminders too much longer. You need to figure out what you have to do to fill in the rest of the prepositional phrase. It's starting about concerning, concerning what? You ask yourself that in a way that makes sense to say afterwards, the general needed more information. So concerning, you can substitute the idea about about what did the general need more information? You fill in the blank. Down where the enemy army attacked. Here, it should be pretty obvious. You will need to start with during and then during what, comma, the spy waited patiently. That's your assignment for today.